Around the world, humanity is navigating a digital revolution that is upending life as we know it. And yet, despite the near universal impact of this revolution, the increased connectivity is producing misconnections. Via our phones, we access almost any fact accumulated over millennia, yet we accept a post-truth world as inevitable. We have the opportunity for real-time conversation with almost anyone, anywhere, and yet our politics trend towards insular nationalism. The political and social unrest didn't emerge from a vacuum. No, it stems from an encroaching economic anxiety, a realization that the rules of the game are changing and the new rules are undefined. Traditional careers are disappearing and so are traditional pathways to stability. In some parts of the world, a university education may only guarantee debt. In others, subsistence agriculture is undermined by climate shifts and industrial farming. A dangerous dichotomy emerges between those with access to the digital economy and those without. As the coronavirus pandemic swept across the world, millions of no-collar workers seamlessly transitioned to home office, needing but a computer and an internet connection to continue their professional lives. Meanwhile, those outside of the digital economy, or at the fringes of it, faced closures, layoffs, and exposure as the manual labor in the gig economy. The tech that powers these megatrends has become ubiquitous and deeply ingrained in our lives. We don't like to think of ourselves as simple data points in an algorithm, but we depend on apps offering real-time traffic flows, and we tacitly accept Netflix movie recommendations. Maybe our digital revolution is like the proverbial frog in boiling water. The fable holds that the frog placed in tepid water won't realize to jump out as it is slowly brought to a boil. Although the overall shift in water temperature is extreme, the incremental nature of the change evades the attention of the unfortunate amphibian. The digital impact on daily life in much of the world started tepidly, and now it has been brought to a boil. Yet, the analogy is imperfect. There's not a lot of good that's going to happen to a frog in boiling water. But the digitization of daily life doesn't have to be so bad. But to survive the transition, we can't be oblivious to changing water temperature. This is our digital world. I mean, this is our digital world. And together, we can achieve a far better outcome than if we are left to our own devices.